What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Today I'm going to give you the top 10 things that new players should know about Conan Exiles. And I'm going to do this in a way that doesn't spoil anything for you guys. I'm going to explain a few mechanics and a few different things that I wish I knew when I started the game originally. But this should not take away at all from your gameplay experience. Now, if you're enjoying this content, please leave a like on this video and subscribe for future ones. Clicking the bell will notify you when I upload a new video. Number 10 is choosing the right game mode. Now, there are three different game modes to choose from in Conan Exiles. The first is PvE. PvE is going to be the most relaxed game mode you can have because you are just playing against the environment. The next game mode is PvEC player versus environment conflict. Basically, this adds the ability to get into conflict with other players openly on the server. Now, the open conflict on PvEC is going to be limited to a window of time on that server. You will need to check your server to see what time that is, and just keep in mind that those times are linked to whatever time zone that server resides in. And just so I'm clear, open conflict means that you can damage and kill other players on the server. And the last game mode that I'm going to cover is PvP, player versus player. Now, player versus player gives you everything that you would get in the PvE game mode. However, you can fight other players at any point in time. Additionally, there is a window of time on the server that is going to allow you to attack other players' bases. You can damage, destroy, and loot other players' bases in PvP. And that time is commonly referred to as raid time. However, if you're looking for this setting in the settings to see what time that is for you, you're going to want to look at the window for building damage. Number nine is all about picking a religion. Now, there are six different religions that you can choose from when creating your character. Krom grants you no bonus. The other religions are going to grant you a bonus. Each of the six religions will actually give you special recipes that are specific to that religion. So read the description for each one and make your best guess on which one you'd like to start with. Krom is not learnable on the map, but the other five religions you can learn once you get in the game, and there's actually a seventh religion that you can learn as well. I will give you this one tip, Emir is the furthest from the initial spawn point, and Yogg is the closest to the initial spawn point. Number eight is all about gaining experience. Now there are six different ways to gain experience in Conan Exiles. The first that I'll list is Journey Steps. You can see three journey steps in the top right hand corner of your screen. This will give you an idea of things that you could do next to gain more experience. You can also look at all of the journey steps under your inventory or by clicking J on your keyboard if you're on PC. Another way is location discovery. Now you will come across different camps or different landmarks when you are exploring the exiled lands that will tell you that you've discovered that location. Now the location discovery actually grows in experience. Point. So the more locations you discover, the more experience you gain per location you discover. Each NPC in the world actually houses their own level of experience points. So when you are going around slaying things in the exiled lands, when you defeat them, you will gain experience. Each one will grant a different level of experience depending on its difficulty to defeat. Harvesting and farming will also grant you experience points and it is based on the amount of resources that you harvest or you farm in the exiled lands. Crafting will also grant you experience. Now, the higher tier things that you craft, the more experience you gain. But it doesn't matter whether it is tools or weapons or armor or even building supplies for your house. So foundations, walls, stairs, all those things will grant you experience points. Lastly, you do gain 10 points of experience every 10 seconds as a passive amount of experience just by being in the game. The total amount of experience required to reach level 60, which is the max level, is 18,199,150. It sounds like a lot, but take your time, enjoy the journey, and you'll get there. Number 7 is understanding the map and where the enemies get more difficult. Basically, anywhere along Noob River is a good starting area. However, the farther east that you go, 
Along the river, the harder the enemies will become. Once you reach the jungle, there will be more difficult enemies for you to face there. And then as you move north, you will find that enemies increasingly grow stronger as you move towards the green area, and then the green area is going to be more difficult than that, and then on and on. So as you go north, you will find more powerful enemies. Now there are a couple of exceptions to this rules, one of those being the unnamed city and the other one being Sepper Maru. Both of those areas are quite difficult and have some pretty powerful enemies. The climate also changes the farther you get north. So as you go north, you will need gear that supplies a better cold resistance than the gear that you can run in the desert. Number six is all about feats and attributes. The number one thing that I have to tell you about this is that both of these have limited points. Now, feats are used to unlock different recipes for you to craft things or make new armor, different things like that. And after you hit level 60, you can actually get enough feat points to unlock absolutely everything. Attributes, on the other hand, are limited and you are locked into a total of 390 attribute points at maximum level. So it's important to choose how you're going to spend those feet points wisely. However, there is a function in game, a potion that you can craft that will allow you to reset all of your feet points and reset your attributes. So if you make a mistake, there is a function where you can go back and change where you have feet points placed or change what attributes you have put points into. Number five is all about building, and I'm going to share some tips with you guys about building because there are some things that you can run into that can f make you frustrated. So the first thing is you can augment the way that you place different building pieces in the world, such as the foundations. You can raise them, lower them, rotate them in any form or fashion that you'd like. So when you're starting your build, make sure that you raise the foundation above grass and other things that may be in the area, and also try to map out the size of your build and see what the highest point of the terrain is so that you can make sure you don't end up with a part of your base that's showing the terrain through it. Now, the building system in Conan Exiles has a stability system built in. So what that means is that your pieces need to be connected to the ground. Every piece that is not connected to the ground, say a ceiling tile or a roof piece, will have to gain stability from something else. So when you're building up, you place a foundation, you place a wall on top of that, and then let's say you place a ceiling piece. Now you are able to place four ceiling pieces off of that one piece of wall before you will lose all of your stability. And in Conan Exiles, it will not allow you to place another piece that will not have stability. So it's not like other games where you place a piece that destroys the rest of the building. This game simply does not allow you to build if there's not enough stability to support the next piece. Each piece that's connected directly to the ground will have 100 stability, and each piece placed after that will lose 20 stability you cannot place a piece that has less than 20 stability and you cannot build on a piece that has only 20 stability. The way that you can check the stability of any building piece is to build a repair hammer. Simply equip that repair hammer and look at the piece that you're trying to build on. Additionally, on PC only, you can look at that piece and click the tab button as well and it'll display the same information that the repair hammer will give you. As you progress through your gameplay, at some point you will unlock higher tier building pieces. There is tier 1, which is going to be your sandstone, tier 2, which will be your stone brick or insulated wood, and then tier 3, which is going to be the strongest building materials you can get. It's going to be reinforced stone, black ice, and all of the DLC building pieces fall in the tier 3 buildings category. Now it's important to know that you can just upgrade your pieces. You do not need to destroy your building in order to upgrade it. Simply select the upgraded piece in your inventory and highlight the piece that you want to replace and it will allow you to upgrade that piece. And if you find a place where you wanted a window or a door instead of a wall, you can simply 
replace that piece with another piece as well. There is one thing that does not always work and that is DLC pieces will not always allow you to change those out. And there are two mechanics that I want to mention real quick about the building system as well. One is the purge. The purge is when the game decides that you've reached a certain level, you can handle enemies coming to attack your base. It's a lot of fun, but it can be scary at the beginning of your gameplay. I don't have time to cover this in depth, so I'm going to link a video in the description of this video if you want more information about the purge. There's also a decay system in place in Conan Exiles. And what that decay system does is it will actually destroy a base of any player that becomes inactive. Now you can check the decay timer by using the repair hammer or tab on PC. Again, I don't have time to cover the decay system in this video, so if you want more information about the decay system, look in the description of this video. Number four, Conan Exiles does not blatantly teach you anything, which is fabulous for some people and frustrating for others and i totally understand that the closest thing you're going to get to a tutorial is going to be your journey steps in the top right hand corner that's going to give you an idea of different things that can be done in the exiled lands and point you in some sort of direction however on top of that there really is nothing that teaches you how to play the game what to do where to go which is great for my channel because I get to make awesome videos about different things that I've discovered in the Exiled Lands. However, my tip is going to be do as much as you can without looking for outside information, get into the game and just enjoy the journey because it is a lot of fun. In addition, this game is great played with friends, maybe other people that will try different things and just share that information with each other. That is probably the most fun way to play Conan Exiles is in a social group. But once you get stuck, if you get stuck, there's always my channel you can come back to. There's other YouTube channels and there is the wiki that is there to help you figure out what you may want to do next. Number three, water is a safe place. So unless you're dealing with an archer that has absolutely amazing aim, you can run to the water to escape anything in the exiled lands. There is nothing in the water that is dangerous that will kill you. And even if you run out of stamina, you're still going to be okay. You do not drown if you run out of stamina. The only way you drown in the water is if you run out of breath. So if you're struggling to defeat something or get away from something, the water is a great way to lose the aggro of any enemy. Number two is all about followers. Now you are able to get different human NPCs with Thrall Taker and that unlocks at level 10. You can get animal NPCs at level 13 with the animal pen and horses at level 15 with the stable. And I highly recommend that as you hit these levels, you unlock these feats because followers are a very important part of Conan Exiles. Now, thrall hunting is one of my favorite pastimes, and what I mean by thralling is basically you have to find different NPCs in the world, you use a truncheon to knock them out, and then you bind them and you take them back to your Wheel of Pain. Once they've spent time on your Wheel of Pain, they will then become your indentured servant. Now, throughout the Exiled Lands, you can find many different thralls, starting with fighters, archers, entertainers, and bearers. All of these different thralls can follow you around the exiled lands and accompany you on your journey. There are also crafting thralls, so smelters, tanners, armorers, blacksmiths, carpenters, alchemists, and cooks. All of these thralls can add to your gameplay experience, and some of them even house special recipes. There are tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four thralls for all of the different professions. Tier one through three will show with a number at the end of their name, and a tier four thrall will simply show a name, and are referred to as named thralls since they do not retain a number at the end of their name. The named artisans actually give you multiple bonuses. One is going to be a reduction in crafting cost. The other will be a speed increase. 
and then a lot of them have special recipes that you can only unlock if you have a particular thrall. Tier 4 or named thralls will also be your most powerful followers. Now in your journeys in exploring the exiled lands you will come across baby animals. Those animals can be trained in the animal pen and all animals have a percent chance to become a greater pet. A greater pet is going to be more powerful than its normal version. You can also find horses and train them in the stables. They are going to be a quicker mode of transportation. Additionally, you can take a horse and a follower, so a thrall or a pet with you at the same time. Now my number one tip for new players is make a clan. So if you go into your menu options, you will see a clan tab. What you're going to want to do, even if you're a solo player on an official server or any server, you want to go over there, you want to make a clan. And I say do this while you're on Noob River. Just make it right away. Now don't worry, if you decide that you want to join a different clan down the road, you have the ability to leave your clan and join a different clan. So that is an option. But the reason why I tell you to make a clan right off the bat is because there is some griefing that happens with clan invites. And basically what has happened to many players in the past is they've been building their base, they're getting set up, somebody comes along, spams a clan invite to them, they accidentally click accept clan invite and what happens is that clan then owns all of their structures and inventory and basically everything that that player is not carrying on their body and many times that person is immediately kicked from the clan locking them out of all the hard work and time that they've spent putting something together and this could be absolutely heartbreaking for you if this happens to you so that is why it's my number one tip don't let all your hard work get stolen by somebody with bad intentions and that's all i have for you today if you've got further questions or further information that you want to know about conan exiles go ahead and look at the other videos on my channel and think about subscribing i hope you've enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed making it i'll catch you next time peace I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. Y'all are absolute legends. I'd like to thank everyone for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you could start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.